Okay. All right. Okay, so um, again, this is um, the Dolly Dog, the 360 motor on the uh, 67 Dodge. This is Blonde Chick Mechanic with um, on James Ross Video Channel. I gotta turn this down a little bit, it's too loud. I've had complaints before. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now um, these are the push shots. And like I said before, these are better than the old ones because the other ones, the, the little welded balls could just come off when it's. Um, <laughs> High horsepower. Yeah, I hate it when it does that. And um, so anyway, um, what these do is they go right into the roller rockers, right? Right. Here. Now, if you notice on the head, there's like these little square areas here. See those? Oh yeah, the, the those are. And that's where the, the close up um, here. That's when where our Harlan sharpers. Sharps are gonna go. Oh yeah, right, right. Um, you can even see the. I'm I'm taking a close up look. You can see down to where the uh, hydraulic part of the roller rocker roller lifter is. And you know you gotta just make sure that these retainer clips are all seated well. But what's kind of nice is that these um these push rods. They're um all they do you just place them on there and it might feel a little weird because you're not holding them down. But not yet, and um, but they kind of rest right here. Yep. And um, oops, oops. No, now I'm turning around at me. No, no, I don't want to see. Yes, he's really cute. <laughs> oh, so I like this song. I do too. Well, this is part of the uh, Blonde Chick Mechanic soundtrack. I got like 800 songs on it. They're just all favorites, kind of, you know. <laughs> oh, I love this. So we're gonna um, pause now and. Um, okay, so you so gotta. Got oh, you got them all in. Are in. Yeah. Okay. So and now we gotta set. Rest on these gray things. That's all I was. Yeah. Saying. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so there they are. This was Trick the, flows. Uh, this was um, the cars. Oh, the cars. You know the. Lady yeah. Just the, died? Yeah. Okay. Cars. <laughs> <laughs> cars. Oh yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so next, um, I gotta ask my husband about the. Um, the, rockers. the rockers. Yeah, and, and the pedestals. We gotta get all the pedestals and all. Yeah, and just, just so. Okay, let's do this. See, uh, um, and basically, what these. They, see, there's a little bolt in it. Goes in here. Right, and we gotta. And then, um, they sort of we gotta put the pedestals on first, and then all the, we gotta we got a bunch of spacers too. It's like this, and then somehow this kind of connects to this. Yeah. And um, well, yeah, that rolls rolls that rolls right on the on the push rod end. So it's like a rolling yeah. motion. Yeah, yeah. Well, what you could do is why don't you get all those and line them up inside here for now? Just put them, set them all in here. Yeah, and we'll keep yeah, just just the rockers like that, yeah. Cause we won't, nothing will fall out of those. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Pull. Oh, here we are going. Now we got the pro, John Ratton of Kiwi Motors, the place we're at. And Dolly Delena is uh, learning a very important part of this whole thing. Are you getting the exact spacing? Maybe that is right once we put the, the load on the first rod. Okay, so good. Okay, so we'll get a 30 to 60 spacer. Well, more than that. And then along with the regular washer. Wait, just a 130 and 160 on each? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the, oh, the washer that you're talking about is on the pedestal. Push the valve as bad as it originally was. It would, the 
roller would fall off the edge of the valve when the rocker moves down, and then it would have pushed on the retainer, which would have popped the keepers out, and then it would have dropped the valve <laughs> And the piston would then engage the valve. But if you're, you're not that far off, off by quite a bit, when it rolls, it'll push the valve one direction. So if it rolls to the outside tip, it'll push the valve inward. And what it does is it starts to wear the valve guide out faster. So that's why you want it as centered as possible. That way it's, that's why it's pushing directly straight down. I mean, it's going to roll out and in a little bit, but you want to minimize it as much as possible. Okay, so, so, so yeah, that's... Okay, so all she's got to do is put a 60 and a 90 in under each one of the pedestals. Yep. Okay. And then... Uh, yeah, I think it's a 30 and a 60. So not, right? I mean, 30 and a 60, yeah. rather. You yeah, end up 90. with 90, yeah. Yep, exactly. Okay. So, um, you got your work cut out for you. We'll get it all set up. Then what? <laughs> yeah, then we have to adjust the valves. Okay. Well, can we... Uh, well, can we adjust them in when, once it's like once it's set up like that? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can adjust them. So. Okay. Because so, it's a hydraulic piano. Oh, that's right. That's right. So I can adjust them. So okay. Them. All right. All right. There's one. There's one. Okay. okay. I'll I'll keep a careful so, eye on her and, and uh, yeah. Okay. All right. because I learned something new. Um, these are the rocker arms, and I think I told you about these push rods. And all they do is just push right in there, and that's it. It's, it's so weird to me because it almost seems like they're not connected, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because all, all you have to do is just push them in through the holes where they, you know, where these are, you can tell. But um, what I wanted to say is that um, these are Harlan Sharp, and... Um, we were talking about how um, great. Oh, by the way, Von Chick, this is Von Chick Mechanic with the Dolly Dart. Yeah. 1967 Dodge Dart with the 360. This is my um, home project. My husband has very graciously <laughs> taught me. And um, like I said, we're here at Kiwi Motors. And um, anyway, we're putting in the um, rockers. And one of the things that um, has been tricky is that we needed lifters. Um, not lifters. Spacers. Spacers. And there's these um, washers. And you know what's interesting is that... Well, 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 what you should say is that the Harlan Sharp rockers came with uh, the pedestals, which are these uh, deals right under here. But the trouble is, is that to, to have the correct height so that the, that the roller rides right on the center of the valve, we had to use um, is 120... 120,000 um, well anyway spacers in addition to the pedestals that came with the kit. So essentially I'll show you a little bit of how that works. Um, yeah. So, so you can see through these that um, the little bolts here go right through here and then there's these pedestals and yeah, it's so funny because I went like this. And yeah. <laughs> there's barely anything. Uh, yeah. That yeah, doesn't work. Um, yeah, at least they're one way. You could tell that they only fit one way. So um, this goes over here, just like that. And then what we're using is these um, spacers. The spacers, yeah. And I've been putting two sixty. No, there are sixty thousands. Sixty thousands. And so that makes it 120 thousandths. And I'm not going to show you because it's kind of like a balancing act. Yeah, I kind of have to help her. You need four hands to do this when you to install them. So, I mean, because if you go like this. Wait, I'm, I'm showing. I'm the other four hands. Me and this flaming 
shirt uh, on mine. So, um, so anyway, uh, there's these, um, these spacers, and you have to kind of hold two of them at a time, and so you basically hold your thumb here because you're working upside down, and um, you put the spacers here, and then um, I'll, I'll kind of illustrate it, but... Yeah, you got the uh, two more washers, or no? Or no, no. I, I'm not going to get them Oh, oh I see, yeah. too much to balance. Yeah. But what happens is... rods end up going here and then there's like this the screw holes here and you have to anyway um, when when I have the washers here then it, it kind of works better but then you, you fasten them down you keep them with the allen wrench yeah we got the, one then, of these um, here and then it, but what it does is it, it goes up and down on the valves so I'm going to learn how to adjust the valve, um, adjust these pretty soon, but um, anyway, that's what I wanted yes. to show you, yeah. the update on Well, this. you got, you got, we got half, we got it half flicked. <laughs> and aren't they pretty? They're all orange Yeah. copper, I love that. Like a gold color, I love it, yeah. So. Take some stills of this. But, uh, see, I'm, I'm, yeah, with the camera, I'm taking some stills. You'll probably see these later. Show you do that trick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So I'll pause it for now and we'll get back to work. All right. Okay. All right. Well, you looks like you're uh I'm the last one, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's uh, Aren't they so pretty? it's suitable for framing. So, so you got okay. So we're ready for valve adjustment, I guess. Well, see, everybody just blinked, and you had it done. <laughs> okay. Right. That's. Um. Is that it? Anything you want to say about that? Oh. Okay. Uh, Well, you don't need your glasses, huh? No, I want to show, check something. At the end of these um, our little holders, and on top of these springs, the valve springs, there's like a metal part. And it's really crucial that the roller is squarely on that metal part. Right. And so you can kind of tell when you have, well, for me, when I have glasses on. So yeah, it's right on the center of the valve. And see, we had to use. If you can see there, there's um, there's two sixty thousandths uh, sp inch uh, spacers underneath the pedestal. So we're gonna be um, next. We're gonna be adjusting the valves up here. Um, we bolted all of these down. So mm. now, now we're good. We're yeah. Good. So uh, let's and, see. And unlike the hundred and five foot pounds, this um, took just a gentle pressure. Yeah. <laughs> And I love them because they're orange. And yeah. Okay. Carlin Sharp, I guess, is the best. So. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, we got the 80s music going, so. It's almost 6 o'clock. Wow. On July 31st. John uh, Ratton is just, he just left. He was here a minute ago, just making sure uh, we, we were on track with this. So. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Thank you. 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 Thank you.